Hi guys, you probably already know that we have some friends from Denmark over here in Edinburgh and they were so kind to bring us a lot of Danish candy, which we think is mostly just licorice and we're gonna die. It's gonna be fine, honest. <laughs> There's a maniacal laugh. Scumbanana. I'm very glad you're here. Uh, Scumbanana. Yeah. Scumbanana, yeah. So, so it's actually it's called foam bananas if you translate it directly. Banana flavored marshmallow food. Ooh, that sounds great. Covered in chocolate. They promised us we're starting nicely, so. <laughs> Oh my god, it's chewy! Yeah. Mm. The texture is somewhere between a marshmallow and jelly, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. It's not quite either. Mm. <laughs> it's got that very, very classic like banana sweet flavour, the kind of ice cream banana flavour rather than an actual banana. Yeah. But actual bananas. <laughs> Who needs Who actual needs bananas when you've got some? <laughs> Scumbanana. Scumbanana. Oh, we'll just keep saying that now. Called pink wing mix. And uh, there's okay. a lot of different kinds down Is there. it um, made of penguins? Mm, no. Not that we know of. <laughs> it's like two yeah, little Okay. Okay, so and you tried the black one. Just a fair warning, the black one is licorice. Is it bad licorice or sweet? sweet. sweet. There's, sweet. there's sweet. no good licorice. Okay, let's both try the licorice, licorice one. <laughs> Lovely. Let's try something that isn't licorice now. That is also licorice. <laughs> It's wrapped in chocolate! How could you be so cruel? We're Scandinavians. <laughs> it's okay for me. Sweet licorice is quite nice. Oh, this was kind of spicy. Why is it spicy? Why is it spicy? You've got a hexahoot! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a, a witch howl? Yeah, witch howl. It's named yeah. after a kind of uh, firework. Okay. <laughs> the orange ones are like chewing a rubber band before you yeah. get to the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. That's very uh, accurate. This one? It's called Skilter or Turtles. Aww. Giant Turtles. Giant Turtles. And it has uh, some chocolate and rum cream. Yep. Totally. This sounds amazing. Basically, the funny thing is, in, in my family, that was the adult candy. That was like, kids all, like, no kids allowed. In her family, it wasn't. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh these are huge. And they smell wonderful. Wow. This is like a, one of the quintessential mm. Danish candy products. Maybe we should warn them. Oh, they are a little bit runny. They are quite runny. Mm -hmm. They're quite runny. Aren't they? Once okay. you bite through them. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Why do I have no, to no, be the best subject for the, for the runniness? Okay. They can be quite runny. Hmm. It looks like it has the consistency of a cream egg. It doesn't taste mm. anything like it. Oh, it yeah, I could eat all of them. I you could, you, them. Actually, in Denmark, you can get them in two sizes. There's that one, and then you can buy like a 20 pack of like tiny ones. Well, like tiny, a little bit smaller. You yeah. can also at one point you could get like the ones that was like this big of them, just teeny tiny ones. Small size, yeah. Now you will get some penguin again, but these are called blue what? Blue jeans. Blue jeans. Wow. Okay. And you can sort of already see what that is. This is salted licorice, isn't it? That's literally one of the worst things I've ever tasted. But to be honest, I don't really remember the taste that much, so I'm so, willing to go so, through that trauma again. So, <laughs> so our kindly assistant has just provided us with a spitball. <laughs> Death. <laughs> yeah. They can be quite hard, so... Quite, yeah. This is really a tooth test. Oh, it's immediately unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is like really like adult candy. Like not even a lot of people our age eat that shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all hilarious. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm. This is the kind of stuff people <laughs> have in their cars. I'm leaving the fray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, 
I'd say he is allowed to pick it out on camera if he feels like his his pride can. Oh, good. You got uh, it. I have no pride. It's fine. <laughs> Opera mint. Opera mint. Probably minty, but it's just with chocolate. So. I wonder if there's any version of opera mints without chocolate. Well, if it's a palate cleanser after that last thing, I'll probably like it regardless. <laughs> this is like considered really flashy candy in Denmark. Posh, posh candy. Yeah. Posh candy. Posh candy. Posh candy. <laughs> and it's from Anton Bell, who is like our big chocolate company. company. Like, there's Tom and Anton Bell. Yeah. Oh, that's very minty. Yeah, it's an after eight that's round. Yeah. But it's mintier. Mintier than an after eight? Oh, the thing is, I didn't look what's on the inside. <laughs> I thought it was like a smarty type thing, but it does have a, the fondant that's inside of a yeah. aftertaste. Nice. Aftertaste. Aftertaste, that's a word. <laughs> it is now. These are like cream uh, caramels, like basically toffee, hot candy, toffee, toffee flavored hot candy, you could say. Okay. Yeah. And this company makes a lot of different hot candy? From like traditional recipes. Oh, so it's And like... we chose some that didn't have licorice. Yeah, flavor. because like, yeah, <laughs> because, like thank you. We are eternally grateful. Because like 40% of this product range is like oh, licorice in one way or another. Oh, God. The word is original. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. So is this also eaten by old people mostly? Well, actually, mostly old people who have grandkids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm expecting to find this in the glove box of an old person's exactly. car. Exactly. This next one has actually been the center in a feud between Denmark and the EU. Because they wanted to ban them because they looks like pipes. Ooh. The EU thought that they would be encouraging young people to start <laughs> smoking. <laughs> And the things went berserk. Mm. I actually bit through the like end part of, of the candy, and it has like almost like almondy inside. Yeah. Yes. That's really nice. I didn't get to that. <laughs> uh-huh. But yeah, this is like a yeah, cultural icon of the Danish candy world. <laughs> <laughs> we even we even have a saying in Denmark that whoever anyone who points with a pipe with the end of a pipe can no, can never be proven wrong. <laughs> That's a nice camera you have there. <laughs> you should maybe adjust the trim light there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm, it's very soft. Okay. Well, compared to the salty one. That's true. It's a lot better than that, but I'm not a fan. <laughs> I I could I could work with this. Especially when it makes me look like uh, everything I say is true. It's <laughs> worth it. <laughs> so we also brought a little bit of alcohol instead of just candy. Who I'm gonna say gum. So is it? How is this pronounced? Gamel Dansk. Gamel Dansk. Gamel Dansk. And it's uh, bitter. Yeah, it's a bitter. Well, it's well bitter in Danish is different to what you call bitter here in the UK. As you can probably tell from the bottle. Uh, right. But it's basically need like a strong herbal liquor, kind of like Underberg, if you know that, or um, Bezirovka, as you probably know, Katrin. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. Bezirovka. <laughs> yeah, Simon is not too fond of this Simon style. is not too fond of this. No. <laughs> How much must it? Just that, a little. That, that, that is fine. That, that, is fine. Per that is perfectly fine. You have some very big shot glasses here. <laughs> These what? are plastic glasses for jello shots. Well, this you you usually... This looks like about a measure of cough syrup, so yeah. It has about the same effect. So do you just um... It just a, a way to do it. Yeah, yeah it's... We're usually drinking this at Christmas dinners and... Uh, Easter dinners Easter and at dinners. festivals. Yeah, and or usually at, to get together with your grandparents. Or at stag dues. Yeah. It so is, anywhere from classy sort of Christmas dinner drink to... Getting shit-faced with your mates in a bus, yep. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, all purpose yeah, alcohol. But we it's all skull. <laughs> which skull. comes from skull. No bullshit. <laughs> 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 mm. ah. <laughs> I like the flavor. 
I do not. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, but it is. That is way more bitter. Oh god, it's way more bitter than Bekorovka. Like I violently feel... salivating right now. I can feel the sugars go up my back. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually okay. marketed as a digestive aid. Well, we need that. Or a laxative. Yeah. Um, Probably. Well, it's got the taste of uh, aniseed out of my mouth at least. Just to make it fun thing. I'm Danish and I hate it. Oh, but she still drank it with us, so. Mm. Yeah, because when you're at Christmas dinners and Easter dinners, you can't not <laughs> drink it. You have like, no choice. You mm. have no choice. I mean, I think Maybe you should pick put something. The, <laughs> you should put the lid on it. Okay. In case we spill it and it makes our house smell like that. Yeah. Okay. Or the cat gets a hold of it. Or the cat gets a hold of it, yeah. <laughs> well, you can give it to your guests when they come by and be like, Yay! That's right. It's important. <laughs> okay, so this does actually look like chalk. Well, it is a classic Danish prank candy. Yeah. <laughs> school, school chalk. Thing. School chalk? Yeah. School it's chalk. literally called school chalk. Yes. It's called school chalk, and when you're. Like in third grade, <laughs> you'll usually bring it and you will take the, oh, the chalk from your teacher. The actual chalk from the blackboard and replace it in, in one of the breaks, you'll replace it with that. And, and watch your teacher get increasingly frustrated as he spreads weird white stuff all over his blackboard. <laughs> Focus. Okay. What's in it? Chunks. I, I can't get through it yet. It is quite chewy. It is quite chewy. Okay, very, very chewy. I was not expecting that. No. Um. Okay. <laughs> well, it it does have licorice in it. Yeah, it's, it's got. Like, like, I mean, yeah. It's, of it's, course, it's Danish. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Danish, so it, it it naturally is filled with licorice, but it's got this weird. Crispy, chewy consistency. It's difficult to kind of mm. describe that any way better, but it's like it's like the feeling you get when you first crunch down on some, certain chewing gum, but for every bite. This next one is a super classic. It has been around since like just after World War Two. And don't like bite into it because you can't hurt your teeth. Yeah, biting into it. You can't bite through it unless your jaw <laughs> unless your jaws from Moonraker. You can't bite through that. <laughs> Pro tip. Pro tip. Be jaws. <laughs> it's hard uh, caramel with chocolate inside. Yeah. And now you can get it in different varieties such as orange, orange but period, and, and mint, mint, and, and of, of course, course licorice. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the original one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right now. Mm. It does look and taste very old schooly, but very nice. Now it gets fun. This is what Denmark is probably known for: boozy chocolates. Boozy chocolates. So and oh. we have the cocktail version <coughs> yes. here. Usually, it's filled with the... stuff like this. <laughs> we got you the what do you call them? Um, starter wheel version. <laughs> <laughs> So, how do we get into this? Oh, well, I don't think no. that way, but you clearly <laughs> already made a decision. No, 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 no. <laughs> and this one can actually only be bought in travel retail shops, so like yeah. airports or cruise ships. Oh, so it's aimed at tourists. Yeah. 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 Margarita. So okay, I'm gonna have a margarita. I do like this. I'll try that too. There's four varieties in that pack. Were you, were you hoping like it was going to slush around? <laughs> well, I wonder, does, doesn't it have liquid center? Yeah, there is a bit of a liquid in it, but not a lot. Oh, okay. EU regulations. Oh. Um. Is there how much alcohol is actually in it? I can't I, I, actually, I think it's, it, it's less on the back of them, usually. Okay. At one point, it did. It is a chocolate shape, no bottom shape chocolates. A remarkable amount of liquid, that's not much. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You the neck is not uh, hollow, it's only the body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is EU regulated. No. It's full of booze. The um, the Christmas chocolates you get in it the says... UK have a very, very small amount of alcohol in the ones that say they've got like three barrel whiskey or something like that. Mm. 
you go, ooh, alcohol, and there's nothing in them. This has tons. <laughs> this has 33% of the one chocolate is alcohol. <laughs> oh, it's a third of it is alcohol. Nice. Next up is from Bang Bang, and it's called... What is it called? Hulam Hai Mix. Maybe basically, Hulam Hai is basically um, a Danish expression for like crazy shenanigans. It's like a kid expression. Yeah. And okay. this company used to be an independent um, candy um, company, but it went, it, it, it struck on hard times, and now it's basically a few varieties left and then an amusement park. Oh. Which is really, really fun. Yeah, the amusement park is still going strong and it's a great place. But so, do you mean this company? No, no, the, what, the Bong Bong. Well, the oh. Bong Bong was. Oh, but they were, were, were they bought by them? Yeah, they, they were bought, bought by some. Yeah. And because I noticed they, quite a lot of the candies we tried are from that song. Yeah. And they were known for having anthropomorphic animals on their oh, labels. No. <laughs> That's also, okay. that was also wild. With like boobs and stuff like that in it. Yeah, there's, there's a pop boobs. No, that's poop. That was actually really? yeah, yeah. That that wine gum had like the moniker that when it was sold in individual cool. bags. It had the moniker Big Tips. Yeah, charming. Yeah, dog poop. Dog poop. Wow. What can you say? We're Danish. We're very forthright, even with our candy. I love it. Okay, I want to find a poop too. <laughs> I want their eight time poop. Ooh, well, are these half licorice? Yeah. No, yeah. they're probably Coke. Really? Yeah, Coke flavor. No. Not as in. Scarface, but I'm going to try and say this in as polite a way as possible. The tits tasted nice. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like this tastes very much like a, a Haribo Star Mix. It is, but without like this is without boobs. the without the reason. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well. See okay. The okay. I will have to retract my statement. <laughs> the butt tasted nice. <laughs> no time for the boobs. You want one boob? Are we going to share boobs? Eating an Amazon. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I dropped the boob. <laughs> <laughs> Did you choose this one? Yeah. yeah. The final one is final like one. one of the great classics of Scandinavian hard candies. Do okay. they have anything it, on the inside? Yes. Mm. But it's nice and it's I promise you it is not licorice. Okay. It it's is nice. I feel like we're being Swiss drops. Swiss drops. So we're not getting lulled into some sort of terrible room. Nope. Where we're nope. I have I have eaten shitloads of these in my time. Yes, but you don't mind licorice. Yes, but that's why I know <laughs> that it's not licorice. It's got black on it. Mm. I think you have to... You can suck it or bite it. No pun intended. Ow. Mm. <laughs> I just popped my cheek from the inside. Now I'm fine. I'm honestly going to invert it after dinner mint. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's like someone's turned a, an after eight inside The out. Finns have a similar one, called, which is sold under the name Marian, Marianen. Mm. Uh, and it's sold in like red and white striped wrappings in like long boxes. You can buy them in airports. Ooh. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Top three. Top three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the um, the chocolate turtle. Yes. That's going on the list. Yes. They were great. Um, I liked the toffee... Um, like the chocolate toffee the caramel. caramel. The caramel top, toffee chocolate ones. And let's see. There's an awful lot of licorice here. Uh, you know what? I quite liked the uh, the margarita alcohol ones, just because I was surprised by the ridiculous volume of alcohol in it. <laughs> well, that was nice. What about you? Are you, are you drunk from two chocolates? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I definitely, I definitely, my my number one is the turtle. I want to like, I, I would like to put the scum banana on my, on my list just because of the name. But I think I think that that would be like the third place. Really? Yes, I do like the scum banana. Well, that was fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. So should we say hi? Bye bye. <laughs>